Alright guys, welcome to the chill edition today. I'm going to give you some potential price targets to the upside and the downside, and also a time frame when I think Bitcoin is going to make its next move. Uh, I would like to uh, ask you guys, if you do not like this content, do not hit the like button and do not hit the subscribe button. It really does not help the channel. And if you do not want to get notified when I upload a video, please do not tick the notification bell. With that out of the way, let's get on to the TA. Alright, so this is the Kraken chart. Now I want to show you this FIP circle right here. You can see these are all the same rings in a FIP circle. I would like to point out when we cross this ring, we had a drop, we came back up, we crossed this ring, we had a slight drop, we pushed up. If I zoom into this section right here, you can see as soon as we crossed this ring, it was a pivot to push us up, and we came back down, we found support on this ring. Then we started moving sideways, we were coming up on this next ring soon. If I do a uh, time uh, date range right here, we are about 22 hours before making contact with this ring. Keep in mind, if we do push up, we will hit this ring sooner. If we come down, it will take longer to hit this ring. Some people they find that hard to grasp. I don't know why. It's pretty simple. You move down, you're further from the ring. You move up, you're closer to the ring. Either way, in about 22 hours, give or take, we will be hitting that ring. Let me show you a FIP circle I found. If I come up here and I draw a FIP circle and I start from right here, and go to right here. I would like to show you how well price has been respecting this FIP circle right here. You can see we're bouncing up and down. And currently, we are on the two hour. You can see price was bouncing up and down in this uh, yellow uh, channel between these two rings. I would like to point out that this gave us our bottom structure right here. You can see that this, obviously you see these wicks going up. This is, this is complete liquidation, guys. Hashtag liquid. This is to uh, liquidate longs and shorts, but in general, you can see that the price we were following was down this ring. That was our resistance. This was our support. You can see what happened. We got to the end. We came down. I told you in that previous video, when it comes down, as far as retracing back up, that is an indicator the price is going to go higher. That is exactly what happened. We got topped out here, started moving down. We found support on this ring. So there are different ways that this can play out. It is possible that we are going to potentially get caught in this formation here and then when we get to this ring uh, we could have a, a dump or a pump you know me guys I'm expecting a drop but it is possible just like what happened over here you can see that we did have a push up and then we dropped guys they want to liquidate longs and shorts so if you're expecting a drop most likely we will have a pump and then a dump but it is possible this is a structure we're in we'll have to watch and see how it plays out but this ring does give you your support and it gives you your resistance if we do break above this then it's possible this could be a bear flag we could be bouncing back up and forth until we cross this ring i think it's more likely that we are in this formation but time will tell if i can get rid of this damn thing guys i am like a master chef on hibachi with this fibonacci if you want to learn how to make charts like i do all you have to do is click on tutorials i explain how i create all of these charts this very last tutorial here i create a chart from scratch it's the binance btc usd chart check it out you can learn how to chart exactly like i do so you can find these rings just like this one you know if i zoom out and i go to the one day i know this looks crazy a lot of you are like this is insane but there is a method to my madness, and I teach you my madness. If you want to learn it, check out the tutorials, guys, because these rings can help you find out where your targets are, where your resistance, your support, potential pivots. So anyways, I gave you a time frame. Let me go back in here to the one hour. So your time frame is roughly 22 hours. This is the potential formation we're in. So let me show you some price targets where we can go to the upside or the downside. So on this chart, I'd like to give you some price targets potentially to the upside and the downside. I would like to point out a couple things here. If we do a, uh, a fib retracement, we come from this bottom wick up to the top. I want to show you that price, it, it respects it a little bit, but not that great. Um, if I take this and I do it the reverse, we come from the top wick up here down to this bottom wick. So you can see how price respects this a lot better. So we get perfect support down here, perfect resistance. We get resistance here. Let me pull this out a bit, guys. 
you can see right now we're finding support on this blue ring so you know sometimes you know it's, but you try drawing it from the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom I know a lot of people say it has to be drawn a certain way I say you know what do it the way that works for you um, if we do a fib retracement and we come from right here and we go to the top you can see this also matches price action really well so this does give us some targets now again I would like to go back to this chart and point out that it is very possible that this is a bear flag you know even if this is the structure we're in you know it's possible that could be the point that pushes us up and then we have our breakdown but if this is a bear flag now I don't know if we should come from the very top or this point here but for this we're just going to come down to this point right there so if we do drop down and let's say we drop at this point you know it is possible we come down and test you know 8185 you know if we're down here potentially around 8050 so what I would like to show you um, if we go by the fib retracement alone you can see we have some good targets here so let's actually let's just do all of this guys so if we come down you know potentially it looks like a nice target would be around 8,150 if we drop below that I'd look for 8,000 to be a good target um, let's take this and let's just go all the way from the top to the bottom so you know if we do come down and we break at this point you know this line right here which was previously if we go back actually that's above all price action but price does respect every single one of the lines in this fib channel this line is here so this looks like this could be a potential target if we do break to the downside so look around 8,000 8, 8, 8, 8,150 to be a potential uh, target to the downside uh, we can go to another chart here you can see that if we do a flagpole coming down and then we come from this point you can see right here let me draw a line this red line right here you can see this was support and resistance this is the coinbase chart by the way guys if I pull this all the way back you can see this played a role of support and resistance going way way back and actually it goes further back but I don't want to go back that far but either way you see you got support and resistance you got support and resistance and you got support and resistance so this does look like a likely target if we drop again this is around 8,000 you have a line right here in the FIB channel which is around 8,079 this would be around 8,300 guys there can be small bounces on the way but if this is a bear flag I do expect this to make a full move at least this distance if we move to the upside uh, let me go to a couple charts here so if we do move to the upside I would like to point out that you will have resistance um, these are rings some of you guys don't like to play the rings but I do expect that this would be resistance around 8,974 8, let's just call it 9,000 uh, let's come back to this chart you can also see there's a line right here in this fifth channel that's blue this is around 9,000 again guys you would get resistance right here if we did push straight up this line right here that was previously the bottom of our rising wedge that would potentially be resistance as well so if we did push up and we do hit this line pay attention to that that would be around 9224 if we do push up that high that would be very bullish because we set a new high or a higher high but again I don't think that's possible I think if we do push up we'll get rejected at this line or this line around 9000 and then come back down but I do think it is more likely that we will potentially hit this get a push up to trick people into thinking that we're actually going up and then we'll come back down I still think 8,000 8,150 is a good target and that is on this chart here so anyways guys 22 hours I expect us to hit this ring that's when I expect Bitcoin to make its next move um, it can break down before it can break down you know it can break it can break up or down before but I'm just telling you based on these rings and this chart it looks like that in about 22 hours Bitcoin will make its move Again, guys, if you want to access my charts, that information is in the description. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. That link will also be in the description as well. That's it, guys. Till the next video.